YouTube and welcome back to uh, Humans First Impressions Episode 5 and let's uh, we're gonna do this one a little different we're gonna take uh, characters and just kinda go through what I th sum up what happened and just point out a few things that uh, I just wanted to talk about um, uh, we'll start with Anita uh, so Maddie decides to ask her a question, see if the word, um, or the name uh, my, Mia means anything to her. And this could be just me over analyzing something, but I thought I saw like her hand kind of stutter with the pouring of the milk or orange juice or whatever she was pouring. Um, so maybe it's like Mia's in, inside trying to, uh, to get out uh, type thing that I was thinking like she's trying to say yes I hear you <laughs> um, also uh, since um, Leo and Max are un unable to find uh, were unable to find Mia um, that has me thinking that she is since I think the stuff with Joe happened after that so um has me thinking that maybe Mia is kind of locked into the 18 plus options now since it's all the emotional stuff or the feelings I guess that's how she can feel um, and maybe that she went she got locked in there and maybe I don't know uh, is hiding there or uh, unintentionally got locked in there uh, and next I want to move to the detective uh, Karen uh, Voss. Uh, we <laughs> learned that she is a synth and uh, she is very interested in finding Niska. Um, she is doing everything in, to find her. Like she's going out of her way a little bit to find her. So, um, but she is kind of a mystery to me. Um, I don't know why, like, I don't know where to begin with her because she's came out of left field really like you have no background with her so that'll be interesting to see how that develops further and um especially with her partner like if she finds out like because he's becoming more and more anti-synth um which I'll touch base a little bit later and then let, that brings us to Niska who um if you didn't know better, you would think that she just wants to kill all humans, or at least hurt them. Which, I can't blame her, because from what we've seen, like, all she knows of humans is, uh, it either being a sex toy, or, or some type of hate, or some, having hatred, or whatever. So that's all she knows. Um, and I thought it was a nice, um, interaction exchange with uh, Vera and Niska and kind of showed the difference in the two cents or it, and how they can process things where Vera can't break away from her um, ones and zeros or yeses and nos in her code so basically um, like George was saying that when she says she's not a synth, so she can't be a synth. So that, like, there, like, all the other signs says she's a synth, but because of that, like, it doesn't qualify in her in her uh, programming. So, which was uh, cool to see, like, a face-to-face -face interaction to, to differentiate things, which we've seen tons and tons of uh, the contrast to of the two. Um, and, uh, that brings us to George. Uh, George is hanging out with Niska, or Niska's hanging out with George, how you want to look at it. And um, I have a feeling like George, since he's he's really just learned of this and he's curious and he's, he's not a horrible person. And he's he's amazed by it, I think, in a way. Like as like you said, it's, it's like mankind's greatest invention sitting on his couch. Um, but I think since Niska is kind of damaged, I think he's going to end up repairing her, and that's going to help um, gain her trust and show that um, 
show her a different side of humanity and um this which is already kind of started with the conversations they had this episode uh also next is i cannot remember his name but the guy that's chasing them the, the uh, scientist that's chasing them um well we were we got verified about his involvement with the program to create the AI um, and that he had altercation or um, him and the uh, and Alistair did not agree on something and um, but he really seems like he wants to find out about the AI and like like he's he seems more curious about it than just wanting to destroy it so that leads me into the part about Fred, him destroying Fred, I really don't think he did that. It just doesn't seem unless he unless he's just hiding it well, but it doesn't seem like something he would do. Um to me right now. It just he's too curious about their their AI and the way he talks about it. He or he has talked about it um over the series so far. Um but I do wanna mention that was solid thinking on the part of that um woman the blonde, I don't know her name. She was, I don't even know if they gave a name, but she was one of the, seen the, the, um, she ran the lab or whatever. And she was like, if they need to all to be together and we have one of them, let's destroy it so they can't do what they want to do, which is solid thinking, which I like to see in a, in a show. So, um, we can move on. Let's move on to Peter and Jill. They are having, um, some issues to say the least uh, and t this episode Jill was it was time for her simp to go back because of insurance purposes and she was unable to let it let the synth go she's become attached emotionally attached it seems and um, feels that she's not a hundred percent which she may not be because she did have the, the like crutches or uh, braces or something to help her get around it look like uh, but she is definitely kind of having a relationship it looks like or starting a relationship with the synth um, and also uh, Peter he goes to his goes to a, um, a we are people rally and it didn't seem like he was just there to scout out what was going on it seemed like he might be interested in in that uh in going that route with uh with that with the people there like following that that uh cause um and we start to see uh Peter's hate towards Sims um even more this episode and a lot of it seems to be due to his relationship stress that was there uh, apparently before um, the synths uh, came into hit him and his, uh, Peter and Jill's life so he's kind of placing the blame of that stuff on the synths uh, also let's go with Joe and Laura which kind of had Joe had a moment um, he ends up telling the truth to Laura and Joe ends up leaving um, but at the same time Laura was unable to tell Joe who Tom was or t who Tom is um, and tell us who Tom is because we don't know who Tom is yet either but um, so it's 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 it goes both ways I think on that because they've been they've had they're having issues even before um, Anita came into the picture and it didn't help that Joe did what he did, had sex with Anita, but at the same time, um, they have things that they needed to work out. So this just kind of brought those things to a head, I guess. Now, my view on what happened with Joe, it's <laughs> it's a weird, it's, I guess it's a weird uh, situation. Um, but I guess it would be depend if people had guidelines or or understanding beforehand like if that's what they were going to use synths for uh, for like sex and stuff like that or as that's and they knew that beforehand it wouldn't be a problem but just doing it when it's not what you 
kind of planned it for, I could see being a problem. And I don't blame Laura for getting mad. Uh, so those are my thoughts on this episode, uh, episode 5 of Humans. Uh, what are yours? Uh, leave some comments. Uh, if you like what I'm doing here, subscribe. Or uh, you can like like the videos. And just let's get a discussion going, guys. I, I like talking about shows, especially ones that uh, seem to be put together well. All right, um, I'll see you guys in the future. Peace.